Hey guys, welcome back to another Clash Royale video, and today we're going to be playing around with one of the best Bridge Spam decks in Clash Royale right now, and also one of the only viable Magic Archer decks in the game. Right here, 3.3 Average Elixir, Ram Rider, Magic Archer, Faster Cycle, Bridge Spam deck. I say Faster Cycle because 3.3 is relatively low in cost. This deck has been around in the meta for many months by now, but it's always been consistently one of the top performing decks in the game. And I also think it's the best Magic Archer deck in Clash Royale right now. And as I said, one of the only viable ones. Considering the Magic Archer, I feel like could use some love. I feel like it was a good idea to do this video for you guys today and show some love to the Magic Archer. Now, the one downside to this deck, however, is it does have a lot of legendary cards in there. So if you are looking for a more free-to-play, player-friendly, uh, faster cycle, pure Bridge Spam deck, I would suggest this one right here, 3.4 Average Elixir, only one legendary card, the Bandit. Also one of the best Bridge Spam decks in the game. I would say these two right here are the top two in my opinion. But today, guys, we are showing some love to the Magic Archer, who used to be a good beast, a good beast, a big old beast uh, back in the day, and then was nerfed out of nowhere, and then uh, was just killed. And then was never shown any love ever again. It's so strange. But it is what it is. When you go. You're just gonna do that, apparently. Whatever that was. No, no leg, please, no leg. Why use this tombstone giant? Well, and also, more importantly, why are we lagging? I don't like lagging, guys. I'm sorry. Nice. Everything's attacking so slow, it feels like. It's, it feels like it's slow paced. Is that just me? Is that just me as we're slow paced? There we go. I'm going to go ahead and speculate right now that it is probably a graveyard deck, actually. Nice. There we go. Uh, okay. Apparently, I didn't want to use Ice Golem. All right, guys. I quit Clash Royale. I came back, and somehow we're in the past? What? That already happened. This is so strange. That was so weird, guys. Like something that already happened uh, came back and didn't happen. Is that just me, or is it? Is that just me, or is it weird? Maybe he's lagging. That's making me lag. We're gonna miss the, uh, the the musketeer just for no reason. But I, I, I forced quit Clash Royale and reopened it, and it appears to be better. Obviously, here's the thing, guys. If it were my internet, if my internet were bad, force quitting Clash Royale, reopening it wouldn't fix it. It would be persistent even after reopening. But it's also strange. Maybe it, maybe it still is persistent. I'm not too sure yet. But it's also a little bit strange, I feel like, that uh, something had already happened in the game. I forced quit and reopened, and it was kind of like back in the past. If that makes sense. I don't know. This world is a strange place, guys. Alright, we good there? If you could just go ahead and use uh, something for my Magic Archer to hit the tower. Or just not do anything. I'm okay with that. What is, what's going on here today? Is that my internet or is it him? I feel like it's him because he's obviously lagging. He's obviously not playing. Uh, like He probably just disconnected right there. I feel like new theory, guys. I, I have many theories in this game, but new theory is if your opponent's lagging, you lag too. I don't know. It was strange though, but I will take the dub regardless. Free trophies are the best kind of trophies. Actually, that's wrong. The best trophies are the trophies from BMers. When somebody BMs you and you beat them, those trophies taste the best. But, um,. Uh, Free trophies also taste pretty good as well. Also, beating people that are higher level than you, those trophies taste pretty good. So, uh, yeah. Definitely the top three list of the, of the best tasting trophies right there. So. Oh, another tombstone? <gasps> this one's going to be uh, probably a... Nope. It's probably going to be a splash yard deck. It's here. Was here. 
is here. Nice. The question is, is does he have Bola? That's the question that I kind of have right meow. Is do he have Bola? Where's your tombstone, buddy? Oh, it is the Inferno Tower. No, Inferno Dragon lock on, please. Don't die, Inferno. You let me down, Inferno Dragon. You let me down, buddy. Much disappoint. Very much disappoint. Much, much disappointed. Infernal Dragon just... Yup. Yeah, we're actually gonna do one of these guys. Let's just go... Let's just go crazy. You know what? Oh, he's got Prince. I, I, was, I was gonna say, what could... What's the worst could happen? Well... It's all right here, guys. The worst that could happen, he's, he's gonna... He can have a Prince. That was not good. Magic Archer get one shot, please. Nice. All right, I'm okay with that. So, does it say on Royale API the matchup for Graveyard? No, because nobody uses Graveyard anymore. So, we don't know. So, he's got Nato, Tombstone, and Prince. Three very solid counters for the Ram Rider, which is going to be rather unfortunate. But, um, we'll see if we can get the tower down regardless, though, eh? I really would have preferred that they... <laughs> Stupid bandit. Stupid bandit. It's shooting the ice wizard and not the... Ugh. I wanted to shoot the tower. What a nub. What an official nub sauce. Alright, baby. This is where we do it. I said this is where we do it. It's here. He's gonna nail that back though. Magic Archer might here might hit the hit the tower, please. Oh, so close. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Nice, baby. Come on, baby. One of these. Nice natal, buddy. I'm okay with that for sure. Going downtown. So if we go Ram Rider here, I don't think he can stop it. No ball for a Prince here. He can log it back though. But it's too late. The tower goes down. We have ourselves a, win a victory. Wow. <laughs> ay, 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 guys. I can't even speak when the action is so intense. But I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that for sure. He had three pretty solid counters for Ram Rider. He had Tombstone, Nato, and Prince. And I think he had Log as well. Did he? Maybe not. Maybe that's the maybe that's a different battle. But we'll keep it going. Oh no no wait 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 cancel. Hmm. So much for that button doing anything. <laughs> so much for it. Literally just for looks. Pew pew. That's the sound the magic archer makes, guys. In case you're curious. So I school of minions. What do you guys what are you guys speculating right now that he's got? I'm gonna go Ram Rider here, even though it's a risky play. I am all about... Uh, Prince again, come on now, please. Why Prince again? I don't like facing Princes. But look at the Magic Archer just kind of doing some stuff. Nice. Double lane pressure. Ice one in the middle right here. Kaboom. But the L Jackson right lane getting some work done. The Bandit will charge left lane as well. Maybe not, I lied. Is here. And that one Barbarian getting there does not make me a very happy camper at all. No, I am the opposite of a happy camper. So it appears he has the other version of uh, the Bridge Bam deck that I shared in the intro. Um, I think he has the advantage here. In, in a head-to-head -head matchup, I think his deck has the advantage. I think my deck is better versus beatdown decks. But I definitely feel like he has the advantage in this particular matchup. Let me know if you guys agree or disagree with that, Jazz. Uh, but yeah, that's just... Uh, so I think how she goes. It's here. Come on. Nice. 
Just go Eljack here, I guess. I don't know what I'm doing right now. Just wasting Elixir, I guess. Okay. Barbell by itself here to kind of cycle. Okay, we're okay with that. Barbarian almost gets a shot off there. Not cool, not cool. Wait for it, dude. There we go. Double oh, this. Nice, we good, we good. He just went Prince, which means I'm gonna go really aggressive here. He's gonna log it back and then he's gonna go Fireball. Match Archer here, please. Come on. Match Archer to tower there. Good damage done with Match Archer. Yes, there we go. Rage Magic Archer for the win. Rage Magic Archer for the win. Let's do it, baby. Let's go. Let's go, dude. I don't know why you're going like behind the King Tower like that, buddy. You realize you don't have time for that, do you, right? Look at that. Look at that. Yes. The Battle of the Bridge Bam Deck and I Reign Supreme. Did I say I Reign Supreme or I Reign? I don't even know what I... Literally at this point in my in my life, I don't know what I'm saying in, in in commentary. I think I've said like ten wrong words this entire video. Sometimes I just make up my own vocabulary um, as we go along. So uh, that was interesting. But that was like literally we just fought this deck right here. I think. But he had log. We yeah, the better version is snowball for sure. He had log. But that's the that, that's that's the deck we just fought. Wow. GGs, man. GGs. All right, guys, one more battle over here. And uh, win or lose, we shall see how we do. We've had some pretty good battles, some pretty unfortunate lag, and some pretty unfortunate misplays and miscommentary. But overall, please don't be Expo. Please don't be Expo. Thank you for being a hog rider. Yes, take that, you nub. You're never getting to my tower now. <laughs> That's my evil laugh. Actually, you know what? I want to tell you guys a little story. Go ahead, grab a chair, grab a beverage, grab a snack. It's story time with Shane. Once upon a time, I was facing an opponent with 2.6 Hog Cycle while I was using uh, Brit Spam deck, and I overcommitted in the very first defense. You guys know what happened? To be continued. Come on, L Jack, get to the tower, please, you nub. I want three shots. One, two. Thank you. And Barbarian? Oh, Barbarian. What a slacker, eh? The Barbarian saw the uh, the, lum the Lumberjack hit three shots and was like, eh, Lumberjack's got it. I don't need to do anything. Stupid Barbarian. So we're going to go. He's going to go Musketeer back. Whoa, 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 sir. Sir. Calm down, please. I just go with the bridge. I think you're getting a bit crazy now, my dude. Sorry to say. But I do think you're getting a bit crazy now. Go, Rammer, please. Don't you dare die on me, you nub. All right. Rammer gets some good, juicy damage done there. Musketeer uh, dying. Uh, I was going to say dying down, but I meant dying down, guys. I mean, I can't speak. What's wrong with me? Too much commentary, too much Clash Rail is bad for the brain. It makes you go crazy. Tear. Nice. Dang, he, he stopped that. I really didn't think he would, but he did. And it was very depressing. Here. Nice. All right, we good, we good. Actually, I'm not good. <laughs> I'm just looking at uh, I'm just looking at Royal AP right now, guys. And this deck does have a negative win percentage by far. Come on. There's literally nothing you do. This deck does have a negative 30% win ratio against uh, 2.6 Hog Rider. If you guys don't believe me, I'll show a screenshot right now. Maybe if I, if I don't forget. I'm dead. I'm dead. No. Yes. Last chance, baby. Let's go. Magic Archer right here, please. 
Bob's here. What about this? Come on. Nice. Come on. No. Well played. Good game. 125 health on his tower left lane. Oh my goodness. I. I what just happened? I gotta go back and watch that, guys. I don't even know what just happened right there. I just froze. I didn't think. What do we even have damaging that tower left lane? It was a bandit? This is what happens when I don't sleep enough. I don't even know what happened in that battle. We could have won that. 140 health on his tower. I want to know what happened at the end of the battle there. I wasn't... I literally have no idea. I just went... My mind went blank. I knew I didn't have... I thought I might get Snowball in time to knock back the uh, Hog Rider, but we didn't. That was... Oh, man. that was that, that, That's a feels bad man moment for sure. Power on the right is weaker. Get some good damage done right there. Where's the ending? Push on the right almost works out. Doesn't really work out, though. Right here, we stop this push. No, we yeah, we kill it right there. Five right health left. Lumberjack there, he ignores the L-Jack. Bandit here, Snowball. Let's go half speed now. Or one time speed. The Magic Archer doing work right lane. I See, here's the thing. I got tunnel vision on the right lane because that was the weaker tower with the Magic Archer. Bandit charges right here. I should have gone... If I would have gone... Uh... Lumberjack Ram Rider. Like if I would have got Lumberjack here, plus Ram Rider, in instead of Ice Golem. If I would have gone Ram Rider instead of Ice Golem, we could have stopped that Hog Rider. It would have slowed it down. We could have got the Hog Rider dead. And look at that tower, guys. Look at that Bandit. 125 health. Guaranteed. If I would have Ram Rider there, we might have won. Wow, <laughs> that is a feels bad man moment for sure. But overall, I'm really happy with how we did with this deck today. We beat Splasher. We beat, uh, look at this, Tombstone and Bowler. I mean, he legged, so it doesn't really count. Uh, NATO, Tombstone, Prince beat that. Uh, beat the other Bridge Fam deck right there and lost a 2.6 Hog Cycle. Uh, it was a close battle, but I definitely misplayed near the end there. Ram Rider would have slowed down the Hog Rider if I would have went L Jack. Ram Rider would have worked, I think. Um, but overall... Pretty happy with with how we uh, how we did so far. Right, we're gonna go ahead, you guys. Finish the video off with a couple of uh, hand selected, ripe and ready replays to finish things off over here. Uh, the first of which is against a Golem beatdown deck. I figured this would be a good replay to share with you guys because Golem is it's always so strong in the double elixir period, and a deck like mine is really strong single elixir but definitely struggles at defending those golem pushes in the double elixir period. So hopefully I'm going to show you guys how I kind of go around and battle that in this replay. So the first kind of couple of plays here, mostly kind of just figuring out what he has in his deck. And that way I know what kind of strategy he is running. So, so far we've seen L Jack and Mega Minion. We now see Baby Dragon. So it could be a couple strategies because Mega and Baby Dragon are in basically every deck. Uh, and Lumberjack's pretty popular as well, so it could be it could be Royal Giant, it could be Golem. We're gonna go Ram Rider here. He nails it back, but we do get the Ram Charge plus one shot as well. Uh, so overall, not too bad. So his tower now at 2600 health. However, the main strategy of a Golem deck, for the most part, is to make it into the Double Elixir period alive. Okay, all they need to do is basically survive until Double Elixir. And from there on in, they had the advantage. So, Barbell there, forcing out a Mega Minion. That is a 2 for 3 trade, so definitely okay with that. Magic Archer gets some work done to the uh, Mega as well. And I'm going to go ahead here with a Infernal Dragon for his Baby D to hopefully keep our Magic Archer alive to force him to spend additional Elixir on defense. Going to go Ram Rider here. Magic Archer does do some work. Now look at this. He goes Golem. But the Magic Archer gets a couple shots off in the process. Ram Rider charges. But now, let's pause here for a second. He's got a basically full health golem coming in with a Night Witch behind it for support. And we have four Elixir. So, how do we stop this? We're going to go Aljack here really early to get as much damage done to the golem as we possibly can. And uh, he does get death damage to our tower, which is rather unfortunate. 
I'm gonna go, I believe, Magic Archer here, and I'm gonna go Bandit and Snowball. Actually, I think we just lose this tower almost. So we, our Bandit is raged up. I just go going down, distracting the Mega Minion. We do survive for now. Infernal Dragon dist distracts his Baby Dragon with a Bandit for his Barred Barrel. And we just barely hold on here. A thousand health on our tower. And uh, it's not looking good here, guys. It can go either way at this point, guys. It's getting pretty crazy. We can go uh, Snowball here to knock the L Jack back and slow it down a bit. Ram Rider Charger's tower goes down. We now have a one crown lead with 20 seconds left. All I need to do is stop this golem right here and we can hold on for the dub. We're gonna go Inferno Thief for the golem. Ice golem to, do, to protect our Infernal Dragon. His golem does go down before getting death damage to our tower, which is exactly what we needed because we hold on with 478 health, holding on for a one crown victory. Alrighty guys, replay and number two over here. We're gonna go ahead, you know what? Somebody told me the other day that I'm facing the wrong way with my camera two. Let's go here, go transform, and like this. Is that better? Is that better for you guys where I face the gameplay instead of facing away from the gameplay? Does it matter? Do you guys think it matters? I don't think it matters. Let's go back to the, this is weird. I feel like my, my world has been flipped upside down, back and forth, Let's go like this. There we go, camera two. Anyways, we're facing up against log bait deck. Uh, this is a pretty kind of, I guess, interesting battle here. Because, um, Infernal Dragon melting the, inf I, don't, I don't know what I was going to say there, guys, but the Infernal Dragon melting the Knight right there. Ram Rider going down. Infernal Tower for the Ram Rider. We do not get any Ram Rider damage done. The Infernal Tower is surprisingly decent counter for the Ram Rider. Versus a Hog deck, uh, the Infernal Tower is pretty bad because it's a consistent and negative one Elixir trade, which means most likely if you keep using Infernal Tower versus a Hog Rider, you will eventually get outcycled. But against Ram Rider, it's an equal trade. Look at this right here, though. I knew he was going to go Princess there. So I had the Magic Arch ready to go. It gets a couple shots on the Princess and the Tower. And then we use the Bandit to block his Knight, which allows a couple more shots from our Magic Archer with that chip damage definitely adding up over time. The Magic Archer is one of the... Um, how do I say it? One of the low-key, high-damage dealers. Like, most people don't expect it, but if you can utilize that Magic Archer perfectly, almost every time, you can get some sneaky damage done, and your opponent can often feel defenseless because the Magic Archer might be on your side of the arena, but hitting their tower. For example, right there, two more shots on Princess and Tower, and then on the Infernal Tower as well. So, making sure you get proper utilization of that Magic Archer is key to getting success with this deck. Now he's gonna go ahead, a sneaky barrel here. I'll be honest with you guys, I actually did not see that barrel at all. Uh, I thought he was rocketing our uh, bandit, which he did, but the barrel snuck in there and got some good damage done. However, we punished that barrel, ram runner bandit doing work, getting to the tower, magic archer destroying the knight. Look at this, the ram runner slow protects the magic archer from that knight Allowing us to sneak a L Jack in front of it. Magic Archer still alive. Bandit here. And front tower going down. And now that I know it's in front tower is out of rotation. I'm gonna go Ram Rider right here, guys. Absolutely destroy the Goblin Gang with the rage shot Magic Archer. What's more? Magic Archer getting like four shots on the tower right there, guys, with the knight uh blocking it. And look at this. Tower goes down. One crown lead. Bar barrel for his goblin barrel. And there we go. Busting out a pretty solid dub. The Magic Archer, guys, in that battle. Got so much damage done, especially at the end there. When he dropped a knight in front of the magic archer, he got like three or four more shots. All that chip damage added up over the course of the battle. When you look at every single princess drop he did, when I countered it with magic archer, that damage adds up for sure. The magic archer is almost your backup or even your primary win condition in this deck with how much damage you can do with that archer. And it was guys, that is the end of the video. Here is the deck one more time. If you wanna go ahead, try it out yourself. 3.3 average electric. Like I said before, guys, it's been in the meta for several months uh, at this point in the game. Um, so it's not really newsworthy at all. But I also think it is one of the best bridge spam decks in Clash Royale and also one of the only and best viable magic archer decks. So I really want to share with you guys because it's been a long time since I've done a video on a magic archer deck. 
Once again, right here is the other more free-to-play player-friendly version of Bridge Bam. Let me know which one you think is better down below. But that is the end, guys. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe to my Clash Real content. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We will see you in the next one.